week on Today, the latest from the baseball strike. Also, true stories of the Kennedy women and in honor of Woodstock, Joe Cocker. It's hard to believe that society has evolved so much from when it started all those years ago. And with it, new ways to try to win over your trust with some flashy looking things like commercials for homes, cars, games, etc. Especially considering 77% of the US uses social media. So, why is that bad to certain people? Hey, do you want to hear a secret? People take advantage of you! People give you clickbait. They use certain actors to try to win over your trust on the internet. And telling false statements onto the internet. They are lying to the people's faces. That is not okay. So I've pretty much just stated my issue in that giant mess of statements of whatever you heard. So, I'll take this mess and make something neat. For those who don't know what clickbait is, it's practically an ad that you will see on your computer. Whether this be a YouTube ad, an ad for Insta, or like an email that you will get to your computer. These are things that are sent to interest you to try to get you to follow their sources. Well, if you do that and you reveal personal information, boom, they have you. They use celebrities and actors from certain movies to try to promote certain products that you can buy. They do this because they know, okay, people really like this guy, so if I can get this guy to say something, then they'll probably really like it, you know? That, that, that makes sense, right? It's never really the actor or the actress's fault. Sure, they should be aware of what they're promoting, but in my opinion, it's all toward the companies. I say this because everyone thinks a certain way about a product being promoted by a commercial when they see it on the internet. And if it isn't what we think, companies should state it earlier that it isn't that. Instead of being like, hey, look at this cool thing with all this stuff. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, that's not what it does. <sighs> okay, so I've been talking non-stop about raining on the issue so far, so let me focus on the other two now. What companies are doing nowadays are using things called advanced demographics. Hmm. That's a big word. Let me word it down a little bit. Demographics have always been a part of advertising. However, they were used to find gender, age, religion, etc. This has always been the case. However, the new demographics, they target people by what they search on the internet and things like whether you have kids, where you live, even your education level. This is good because it will lead people to things in life that they would be interested in instead of sending it all to a broader audience. They can be more precise on certain people. For example, if I was an 11 year old kid, I'd probably want commercials on Fortnite because every kid is addicted to Fortnite, right? People like my dad would probably get a commercial for a nice bass boat or something fishing related. This is all good because it's actually helping people find things online that they probably would be into. Companies all over are starting to do this, which is good because that means they're not just bouncing back and forth with random ideas. And instead, those ideas have been separated and organized into information for different people. Wow! That took way longer than I thought it was to make. Okay, finally done. I hope everyone enjoyed that. I put a lot of time and effort into this, so I, you better have enjoyed it. Oh, and uh, let's all pray that we don't get any winter break assignments, because I already have one. See ya!